Hi, I'm AC Flurry, and today I'm going to start by showing you how to use the native housing editor in ESO. This is not EHT, this is the inbuilt editor. In fact, there are kind of two editors. There's a very basic one that works like drag and drop and there is a much more precise one. As I go through this how-to, I'll be showing you the important things as subtitles near the bottom of your screen. Let's start. Firstly, before you can use the housing editor, you have to have a house. When you're inside your house, pressing F5 will open the housing editor. The first thing you're going to want to do is have a look at what kind of furniture or building components you have available to you. The list of these items can be accessed via the R key. Press R and there you go. On the left hand side you have basic housing information such as the name of the house, where it is, the owner, how many furnishings you can have in it and so on. On the right hand side you have a list of everything that you own that you can put into a house. And all of that comes under the place icon. Next to the place icon is a purchase icon, which will allow you to buy only housing related things from the Crown Store. Next to that is the retrieve icon. Every single thing that you place in your house can be found here. Sometimes it's easier just to get rid of it by eyeballing it. But sometimes, if it's hidden, you need to look in this list, find it in the list, and then put it away. And finally, there's the settings icon. This is where you can set your primary residence, assuming that you've got more than one. The thing about your primary residence is that it's public. Literally anyone can come visit your primary residence. So bear that in mind when you do your settings. Okay, let's go back to place. I'm gonna start by scrolling down to suite. This is where most of your bedroom type things are to be found. Under bedding, there are five items. I'm going to choose Elsewhere Bed Senchrat. Left click with the mouse, and then you can see down the bottom of your screen there are two options E to place, X to end the preview. Press E, and there's your bed. When you first place something in a house, it's always in drag and drop mode. And it follows the line of my cursor. It also follows where I walk. Now, this is a very rough housing tool, but it can be very handy when you need to move things long distances. For now, let's just swing it around and left click the mouse button to put it down. Okay, the bed is now set. But it's also at an angle. Let's line it up with the wall. Still using the drag and drop editor, point to the bed, left click the mouse and 
down near the bottom of your screen you can now see six colored arrows two blue two green and two hot pink underneath those arrows are six numbers from one to six they correspond to the numbers on your keyboard for now though I'm just going to use my walk and the mouse to line the bed up. It's roughly okay. Now I'm going to press the left mouse button to put it down. There you go. Now let's say I want to turn the bed so it's exactly diagonal to the corner. How do I do that? I click the bed, I grab it. Now, instead of walking, I'm going to use the arrow keys. Whoops, wrong one. I'm using the number two key to swing the bed around, roughly to about there. Okay, now I'm placing it so I can have a look. Uh, not perfect. Let me try that again. Click on the bed. This time I'm going to use the one arrow key. That's better. Okay. Place it again. I'm going to line myself up. Click the bed and walk it in. maybe a little bit to the left that's the A key and that should just about do it left click the mouse to place what do the other arrow keys do okay let's have a look I'm going to grab the bed with the left mouse click I'm going to pull it towards me with the scroll wheel on the mouse. Now I'm going to press the 3 key on my keyboard. This will tilt the bed towards me. To tilt the bed in the opposite direction press the 4 key. more or less back to normal. To tilt it to the left is the 5 key and to tilt it to the right is the 6 key. Place. And have a look. It's not bad but I actually don't think the bed is resting on the floor. So I'll show you how to make sure that the bed aligns with the floor. Click and then have a look down the very bottom of your screen. There are a number of options in white. Third from the, the right is an option called align and the little drawing next to it is of the right mouse button. Click the right mouse button. Did you see the bed drop down? It's now perfectly aligned with the floor. Left click the mouse to place it. And there you go. Those are the basics. If you want to put the bed away, you click it, left click of course, and then you press the R button. Now let's say you think that you've made a mistake. You didn't really want to put it away. If you look on the bottom left of your screen, you can see Z for undo. Press Z. And there's the bed. Alternatively, let's say that bed. I'm going to do that to it. Now, before I place the bed, 
the easiest way to fix that up is to press X for cancel. And there you have it. Those are the basic tools that you can use with the basic housing editor. They're great, but they're not very precise. They require you to eyeball everything. And sometimes that can be really hard, especially when you've got lots of bits of furniture or um, building components, and you need them all to line up pretty accurately. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Precision Editor. Thank you for watching and goodbye.